Hello and welcome to my fifth tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to uh, use for loops and how to change color of console window so we can make it spicier. So let's start. Uh, I've created a new project because I suppose you know to create a new project it's not very complicated. And let's get straight to the code. We are going to use for loops. For loops are uh, something like while loops, but they have they are limited to a looping a uh, number of times. For example, re uh, let's uh, make a loop um, for loop that will uh, print some text ten times. So we're going we are going to type this. This is the syntax for 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 loop. For we define the variable. Uh, we define the um, condition until until we'll until the variable or the for loop will uh, execute so until variable i is um, smaller than 10 times I uh, said 10 times and a plus plus what does this mean you're going to uh, in the brackets we're going to type um, line number i what does this mean? When we run the program, it will print us from 0 to 9, 10 times the line number. Line number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can change it so it will loop from 1 to 11. It's 10, 10 times because you see, uh, because it goes to 11 and not. And it does not uh, use the 11 number until it's uh, smaller than 11. Um, so this is something simple. It's very simple for usage. I will explain it. Int um, i equal to 1. This means that uh, it will define a variable type integer that's named i and then initialize it to 1. Or I like it. I mean, a simple well programmers prefer it 0 and it will loop until um, i is um, smaller than 10 and uh, this uh, means that um, it will increment you can type uh, to decrement but you need to change the, um, the loop condition so the loop will end um, for loop will end uh, on some condition so if uh, i is um, equal to 10 this will not execute but if it's lower than 10 it will execute it starts from 0 and it increments by 1 we can type it like this i plus 2 so it will increment by 2 it's like some it's like step 0 2 4 6 8 and when it goes 10 it does not execute because it's um, bigger than bigger and equal to 10 uh, okay uh, let's do something useful. I said that I'm going to explain you how to um, change the colors uh, of the screen. It's uh, interesting, so I will show you how to do this. You have to include one more library. So I'm going to explain what this does. You, there are lots of libraries that you can use. In this example, because I'm using Windows, I'm going to include Windows.h library. It allows me to use some Windows features that aren't available in other operating systems, like changing the color of the console window. It's different for Linux, it's different for Mac, uh, for, I, uh, for, um, sorry, for Mac users, um, and um, it's different for Windows, of course. So, I include this, and I'm going to show you what you need to type in order to uh, change the color of the text. So, you need to type this. First, we need to get a handle. It's a little bit complicated, so we have another data type that is, that's defined in Windows.h. So you can remember this code only for uh, doing this, you don't, you don't need to understand it for now, We're, you're going to understand it when you get better in programming C++. So we're going to define a handle, um, I call it h. Uh, and to call the function get std handle we're going to set this um, std sorry std um, output handle so 
What does this mean? This gets us the handle of our console window via this command. This command returns us some special number that will be used address of the uh, of our window, and we're going to use the command set console. Sorry, console. Um, console text so we're going to give it the handle and to give attributes uh, here is a you need to use the constant foreground uh, foreground for example blue and and you can use this um, then it's intensity so it will be bright blue and when we run the program it will be blue if we delete this and run it it will be dark blue by adding this uh, it gives us the um, it gives us the brighter uh, color intensity you can change blue to red, yellow, there are only default colors that are available let's leave it to yellow you can also do something like this uh, print something for example uh, red text and then we are going to change it to to, to, to yellow I'm sorry, I don't think it does. Oh, maybe it doesn't exist. Let's check. So, how to check if that exists? We're going to rightfully go to definition and see which colors are available. Blue, green, red. Mm, no yellow color. Hmm. There should be a hack for that. I'm going to find it if you're interested. But for now, we are going to. Let's make it green hmm. I don't know that so you see red, green, green, green ok so that's about it we can use the for loop for loop uh, are also uh, they are very interesting and they are used for for example uh, I don't know we can use them for uh, entering multiple values for something we can make something like um, calculator that will calculate for five times some number that user inputs. So let's define an integer value. It's called b equals zero and has a value of zero. And we can do something like uh, this. Define in the for loop. We can define an integer, temporary integer. Um, input and to get the input the value input then we can um, uh, we can we can we can add that um, input oh sorry input to uh, be variable and display the be variable on the end and it will be blue color <laughs> I don't know for yellow I think I saw it but I tricked myself I guess so and also we can make another integer value that will be called max and it will be equal to zero for first and then we're going to prompt the user for entering the max value so let's do it like this enter max Value. Uh, okay, that was the end line. You're going to max and we are going to loop until i is um, smaller than max. So let's do it like this. It will be faster. Uh, enter max value and we are going to enter four and then type two, one, and it sums it to three, as you can see. So that's something about that. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.